Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing as a Texan Arms Association. Uh, before we get too far, I would like to let you know what mods we're using. We're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, State Chester Tool Mod, as you can see in the top of the screen, Player of Peace Conferences, as well as Colored Events. Unfortunately, no colored buttons yet, but freedom isn't free! We stand at a crossroads, though nominally sovereign from the Republic. We still have no diplomatic independence of our own, huh? We have four research slots, and let's take a look at the tech levels. We're pretty good in infantry and support, and pretty much okay in everything else. Maybe except for power armor, though, but that's okay. Reward technologies, we are civilized, of course. Anything else? Not really. But let's begin with some Ohm's Law, and then follow it up with some of uh, Combat Language. And then how about some... Oh, Industry Planning, not bad. And how about a little bit of Construction Basic? That'd be pretty good to do. Alright, get some civilian workshops going. Boom. Well, boom, boom, boom. Laredo up top first. And then maybe a little bit of boom boom right there. Cool. We got four divisions. Four militia divisions. How strong? We have 11 factories. And we'll probably use guns because where we're, where we're at, we're in Texas. And we really like guns. Now, I'm not sure if I should use motorcycles or not. Motorized? Should I really use them in this campaign? I'm not really sure. I mean, we're always going to need more guns. We could use probably some saws, some of this, some of this. But motorcycles? Hmm... Maybe, maybe not. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Let's make one of you guys for now. Just one. Just so we can train some. And then do that. Boom. Alright. So we got some more of this. That's fine. Actually, divisions we have. That's not bad. 12 combat with... I mean, they do have armor early on. It's not bad. Militia, though? Oh, I don't know if I can really be... If, can really afford to use a militia. But we're going to make at least one division at a time with that. You know what? Motorize. Since we'll probably go down the conventional warfare the land doctrine. Mechanized warfare... You get a little more breakthrough, a little more soft stack. You actually lose max entrenchment, which I don't like. You get a little bit even more breakthrough, less cell usage, army soft attack, speed, tank platoons, army recovery rate's okay, vehicles 8%. Eh, I, I think we'll probably go with trooper warfare, but I still might go down and make some motorized, so why not? Let's have a good time with them. And let's get some, let's make sure these guys got enough saws and support equipment as well. Cool! And let us immediately let time go on after we choose. Yes, very good, very, very good. And who shall we be led by? No idea. Cyrus Custer, who has more attack, but you get minus 25% leader exp Oh no, why? At least he's a bruiser, he's Pia as well, so. Oh my goodness, Cyrus. Cyrus, my lad. Why? A capture a 3 point update, if you want to read about this, go right ahead. Uh, I kind of already know how to do that, so let's go. And freedom isn't free. For the majority of the last 200 years, the TAA families have worked under the tight supervision of the Republic of the Rio Grande. It was a less than favorable relationship, the high taxes, strict regulation, and hard limits on who we could actually sell and produce our weapons for. Though now we stand in a place of nominal independence, a position we were only barely able to secure with our capable militia fighters. We get thriving militia, which grants more organization, out of supply, and more defense, which is great. Or impressive economic prowess. Which more resource efficiency gain, more caps income, and trade count, uh, tr count, country trade income. Well, I mean, we we have a trade node here. TAA is a trade node, and that's not bad. I like that. But you get more defense, you get more division organization, out of supplies, okay. I want to go with capable most of fighters. I mean, don't mess with Texas. Don't mess with TAA. The Contractual Society. A society is built upon the tenets of mutual, voluntary, and contractual obligation, unlike most of the tyrannical powers of the wasteland evil, evil, tyrannical powers. And just in case, we're going to go and do this. I'm going to set up some things around here, just in case these guys don't really care for us too much. You never know if we may or may not have to end up going to war with these people we call our overlords. You never know. Especially on on a historical, or, you know, historical is taken off. So, there's a good chance something bad could happen to us. There's a probably actually a really good chance. And we are a puppet, so. This is one of the few nations, actually, that I start, or that you start off as, as a puppet in Old World Blues. Which also, I've also played as Costa Cafenada, and they're actually a puppet of Nueva Atzlan. So, this is like the second time I'm playing, starting out as a puppet. But, the contractual society. The way society runs in TAA is significantly different than in our southern neighbor's territory. For that matter, it is highly foreign to anywhere in the wasteland. The TAA is built upon the idea of a contractual society, one that's ideally based purely on voluntary action, entirely unhampered by violence or threats, while a high degree of power is wielded by corporations and wealthy families. The system of government itself has come to be known as Todd Howitzer's contractualism. Some detractors may try to make the case this simple amounts to a corporate government, but they're probably just communists or Guerra. 
to a future free from tyranny, which we lose mobilization speed, we get more stability, we lose war support, and just by war goals, war goals times plus 10%. Could be worse. Decentralization woes. Though we find ourselves much freer by way of how we run things around here, it sounds that there are some minor shortcomings with the system. <clears throat> shortcomings? What? Rats. Mole rats have invested the underbelly of TAA estate. We aren't sure how they made their nest undetected, but at least six people have been partially eaten so far. Only a man named Jeremy has died so far, despite being a banker. His death only has caused an outcry. People are leaving. It is what it is. Oh, look at that. Contract with society about shortcomings of decentralization. Every system has its shortcomings. And ours, of course, is no exception. The most notable bounty our previous overlords brought to the table is public works. And in time, since we've gained marginal freedom, we've lost more and more in the realm of... Doctors and clinics. Ooh, we lose population. I don't like that. Recruitable population factor. Division and attrition goes up. We lose stability and ideology drift defense. Change the national focus tree to TAANF. Texas Arms Association unlocks to address the crisis. Or t teachers in schools. We lose political power. We get less population. Recruitable population factor, I should say. We lose consumer goods factories. We get stability. But we lose research speed, factory output, experienced soldiers' losses, max planning, and minimum tra training level. Or bridges and roads. Failing infrastructure, we lose resource efficiency gain, a recruitable population factor, division attrition, consumer goods, stability, factory output. Mm. <clears throat> this is supposed to be Ancapistan. Of course, we've lost more and more in the realm of bridges and roads. And addressing the infrastructure crisis. Listen, if I see you litter on company roads one more goddamn time, I'm going to lay a minefield outside your summer home while you're still inside it. What was the very first thing you heard when you stepped into Mr. Howitzer's office? You were the latest in a long line of secretaries to serve under him, and he seemed to have been having a heated conversation with someone on the radio. A few more choice insults were traded before consensus had come to Howitzer, hung up the mouthpiece, and turned to you, bearing a wide grin on his face. Good to finally meet you, champ. Not much time for pleasantries, though. We're stuck or struck with what rival papers are calling infrastructural insanity. Go get on the horn and start calling up some of the other families about town we formulated a plan to fix this. He hands you a little scrap of paper with a few frequencies jotted down on it, turning back to his own radio. I'll get right on that, sir, in which we unlock Address a Crisis. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead, but we have to deal with this soon enough. But the man, the myth, the legend. Todd Howitzer is the single most important figure in the association, being both the man that led us to our eventual nominal freedom, the man that holds the whole thing together. Oh, Todd Howitzer. You were tough to use in a thumbnail, but that's okay. If you like to read about the description, go right ahead. Sharp shades and iron shirts, huh? Let's see. He seems more interested in making a profit than building a sustainable capitalist paradise. Oh, for shame, Todd Howitzer. But the man, the myth, and the legend, the TAA wouldn't be what it is today if it wasn't for its figurehead, Todd Andrew Howitzer. Having grown up in an influential family, Todd's greatest challenge were his siblings, the many other heirs to the influential Howitzer family's name and property. With a little preferential treatment from his father, Todd has managed to secure a, a hege hegemony on the family's assets, name, and titles. This wasn't the end to his ambition, however, as it didn't take long for him to cut right through the bottom line. His most successful endeavor was peddling as many weapons as he could to neighboring raiders, mutants, and just about anyone else in the wasteland who could afford TAA prices. Todd now stands at a precipice in his company's history with hard work and a little luck. He could very well carve out a heaping part of the wasteland for himself. For the CEO, we get fifth plus 50% political power, more stability, and trade deal opinion modifier. Cool. And we could pave new roads, but we do we own the means of production? What I do want to get before we end up going to war with a certain somebody, as we get down here and stand your ground, so we get more entrenchment speed, but mostly importantly, more max entrenchment. But, sweet little lies, more daily political power. Ah, yes, please. Diplomacy is something of an art form, doubly so in times as chaotic as this. Mr. Howitzer's greatest ace in the hole seems to be his ability to tell sweet little lies to foreign diplomats and dignitaries. The man who could sell a farmer the same gun every year for a decade, and he'd buy it every time. Sounds like a great salesman. Let's see, we're doing pretty well with stuff. Actually, the TAA militia... Six combat worth. Let's get some motorized. You know, I'll use some of these for now. Maybe we'll keep them. Maybe we won't. But we'll decide that later on. How many guns do we need? We need more guns. Hmm. Now, I'm tempted. I, militia's cool and all. That's nice. But if we come down here... Killing is my business. Emil Brown. Ooh, which one was it? Was it Fuel Boy? No, it was up here, I think. We get True Grit under Steve Losi. And you get more attack speed and defense. 15% is not... Nothing to laugh at, but it's still militia. Caleb Russell is not bad. You get attack and defense bonus anyways for all of the divisions. And Paris Hines, armed and well-regulated. That's actually not too bad. So, I think if I read correctly, back in the day when I read about the TAA, 
that all these ministers are actually people from Bethesda. So, I mean, Pete Hines, Paris Hines, I mean, you, you kind of get that one. That's not bad. Political Mastermind, actually, that's not bad either. I'm probably going to choose this one first, but Emil Brown, Kevin Lambert, uh, Joel Dietrich. So, cool. So, we're going to get 1.53 political power every day. I'm going to get Political Mastermind because even though it's only 10% more, which actually averages out to about 0.2 more political power you get better approved relations costs economy law trade law conscription law goes all down which is something that we've got to spend some money and time on let's go work as needed though because that's a very voluntary thing to do in and i mean TWA estate uh improvised tools might as well and let's go ahead and try to grab some entrenchment using the conventional warfare i think that'd be pretty good max entrenchment plus 10 yes please support equipment let's go ahead and grab some of this too oopsie my bad let's grab Gliders, because who doesn't love planes? Planes, well, planes are cool. Killing my business, huh? Political mastermind. That's that's worth it in my mind. Sweet little eyes, and then we got even point one more as well. Let's see, get caps, shore up shale. He's not a subject. Ooh, we cannot be a subject to do this, huh? Own the means of production. I kind of like that. The paramilitary though, spawn group of militia. Pave new roads. It's only thirty days. Heavy fortifications or hasty fortifications. What else do we have? The real rail. Construction loans. We get more construction speed. I kind of like that. R Roots of the Yellow Rose. Merge of previous national ideas into one stronger one. Cap growth efficiency. Arms workshops are pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and go grab this one first. Maybe... Ah, let's do this one first. It's important to have a pretty firm grip on your realm while we aren't a government in the original sense. We do govern the majority of all factories and land in the country by directing what we own and buying what we don't own. Ooh, look at that sweet little eyes. So we do get 1.87. That's roughly two a day. That's pretty darn good, but we can make it better. We can make it even better. Better, 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 better. Captains of industry would not be bad to grab. Wealth of the earth, not bad. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go ahead and get this as much done as possible. I might do this soon enough so we can grab that, but... Oh, that's not bad either. But castle doctrine, haha. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Construction loan. What is sign on bonuses? Manpower, lose some caps for that. Get a bonus for vehicle technology. Bombs away. Looks pretty good. Air Cobra stuff. Cool. Now, was there another minister here that gives us more political power? we got to get rid of Oysine Economy. A watchful eye, the Rio Grande in hand is a firm one, and not to be trifled with. A new official has taken a particularly meddling approach to overseeing our nation. And his managed to strip away several of our hard-fought liberties in the process. Direct, distract, and obfuscate him. We lose political power to get more autonomy. This is the price of servitude. Ooh, I don't want to lose political power right now. We'll do that for now. It's fine. That's fine. Whatever. We'll find ways to make them love us more. And by love us, I mean get more autonomy. I thought there was another way to get more political power here. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shit, let me know in the comments below. Should I use Steve Losi? Because that seems okay. We can convert our militia eventually, anyways, to infantry. It costs more, a little more, but... Militia? Ah, I, I'm a little divided on the whole militia thing. Let's go and grab another... Dude, John Wig fall. More defense, that's, that's pretty good, yeah. Even more defense. Wow, this guy's really good for defense, but he hurts our max entrenchment. Why do you pain me, Mr. Wig fall? Why? Tough and get even more defense. Alright, he's gonna be a really defensive dude. I wanna make sure that we Ooh, that's minus twenty that's uh, experienced soldiers losses, and then tough leader. Can we upgrade a TAA? We can use more money, thank you. This does cost how much political power? Nineteen. Well, pretty much twenty. So that's okay. Own the means of production, don't mind if we do. Construction loans, not bad. Rail, I like the rail stuff. Cap and growth, let's get that one first since I want to output, get more output for now. So mass production is the way of the future. Assembly lines, conveyor belts, standardized parts, is all just techniques we can use to pump up those quarterly reports. Oh yes please, more and more quarterly reports that are very good for us would be bueno, bueno, bueno. We could raise our stability, but it's already okay. It's not great. I don't want to use that political part because I would really, really like us to get some... Land Doctrine. Of course, then again, if you got enough stability, you could get at least two, about two political power a day. But this is more important. Starting to get some more army XP every day. That's definitely more important, especially if we want to convert our militia into using regular infantry. The RRG bans political donations. One way that TWA is able to influence Rio's politics is through liberal donations to senators who supports its policy of selling weapons to all comers. Guerrero wants to pass legislation restricting arms sales, but before he does that, he'll have to cut off our, their influence. As a first step, Guerrero has decided to in issue a presidential decree banning donations to a congressman's campaign, unless you are from their district. This means Rio can no longer be can no longer bribe congressmen from other states. We lose political power. This is unconstitutional. I'm going to grab that so we can get that at least done first. And then complain. Ah, yes. Make sure to spend your money before you get taxed, right? Well, let's see about that. 
Motorized flight. Uh, hey, why not? Cool. I love planes. Planes are muy bueno. Go and do that. There you go. Not bad. Oh man, minus 40. Jeez, guys, gosh. I'll probably invest stimulus into TAA as well. How much money? We're making 21 every quarter. Not a lot. We only have 30 now, which isn't great. Joe's army declared war lows. Not bad. It's got a little more than two months. So, conveyor success. After that, we can probably construct new arms factories. That'd probably be good. As the demand for guns from both our clients and military grows, it becomes apparent that we are going to need to commission a few new arms factories in Eagle Pass. And if you look at that, we already have one army XP. And we got about three days left for the conveyor success, which isn't bad, because this is not getting bad. A bonus to industry technology and more resource efficiency gain isn't bad, but we still got to fix the roads here, because in TAA estate, roads kind of in disrepair. And that's kind of intended for our system, I suppose. Ooh, look, that's not bad. Motorized vehicles looking pretty good, too. Let's see. Ooh, we're almost done making another division. Let's make two, just in case, for now. I would like to keep a couple guns in sock pile, but we'll see what happens. Just because, especially if I want to convert some of these guys to infantry, I think it'd be better. But, hey, look! Oh, the NCR declared one of the rapids. But, hey. Is it time for another dude? Yes, please. Stonewall Carr. Well, he's a fast shot, just like the other guy. He's got finesse, which basically gets no more defense. And we actually lose 2% attack. Man, that kind of sucks. We get more max planning, though. Hey, another division. Don't mind if we do. We could train our soldiers, but I'm not interested in that right now. Oh, short shale. Oh, that's sad. Well, at least we got through that, folks, though. At least that's good. And you guys are going to come. Chain choir less. Oh, okay. You guys come down here. All right. 66. Uh, oh, let's go and do that. Let's, just, let's get more stability. Stability for the nation is a pretty nice thing to get. And then after that, improvised tools. Don't mind if you do. And we'll work as needed. I love it. Woodworking. And grab some of... Organized agriculture. Anything else? Anything else coming soon? Nope. Uh, the science of industry. Let's grab this one next for more construction speed. Repairing and maintaining standing buildings is just as important as constructing new ones. With a little cash push in the right direction, we can buff up the rate at which we can both construct new facilities and repair existing ones. I think that'd be really good. 15 days, or about two weeks left for motorized flight, which is fine with me. Do you have any upgrades? Oh, hold on. We'll read about that shooting, but oh boy. And let's grab some more life giver. So the shooting in TAA warehouse causes unrest. Gira's crackdown on the TAA's trade only made the TAA more desperate. Who were they supposed to trade with? The robots that ruled the South? The super mutants that skulked in the ruins of Texas's great cities? The fear and powerful Chicago Enclave? No, the trade would and had to continue. The flashpoint of the issue came during one raid on TAA warehouse along the Rio and Grand in response to rumors of another shipment to Flagstaff. When the Baron demanded they see a warrant and drew a pistol, the officer shot her in the hand. For the past six hours since the happening, there have been calls all across the territories calling for the end of the rule of, from Gloria. In these last few days, the Barons have become sickened by the increasing restrictions on the market and just desire their independence more every day that goes by. This is getting out of hand. Ooh, we get political power and army XP. Ooh, that's kind of nice. You know what? Screw it. We're only keeping one. Keep one at a time because I would really like to actually just throw on more infantry here right now. And that's going to cost us more, but at least we're 10 combat width. And get more defense that way. That's important. And was there something else we had to do? I can't remember. Focus on the Eternal Sphere. Weekly stability for that now. You know what? How do we get this? This is America? Actually, what do you think is better? The Eagle or the Bottle Cap? I've used the Eagle before. I think the Bottle Cap... The Bottle Cap? The Bottle's better, because we could sell bottles, right? Let's go with that one for now. Agency name. What? If you had Todd Howitzer as your leader... What do you think he would use as his, as a corporation's name? Bethesda Spyworks? Probably not. But let me know in the comments below. What should the name for our intelligence agency should be for Todd Howitzer? That's got it's got to be a good name. It's got to be a good one. Biplane fighters. We'll grab that soon enough. But let's go ahead and do this stuff as well. Secret language is muy bueno. Four. Good. And how many how many guns we got? Ooh, that is not good. But let's grab some more army XP first and throw on some fire teams because that's actually pretty useful, especially for defense. An inattentive eye. It seems now that the bureaucrats of the Republic of the Rio Grande have found a new punching bag lately. Demands are not being enforced. Communication is sparse, and our government is running unhindered by outside forces. For now, at least, we have the reins on our nation. Use this to strengthen our position. It's best to appreciate the peace and quiet. I'm gonna get the political power. 
constantly just because eventually I think they do go to war with us or something where we we like will demand that we want to be independent I think if I remember correctly I it's been a while since I've actually played this so uh, sure why not I like that we don't have the caps for it but that's okay hey five army makes me not bad crushes army declare war you need also to crush his army oh it's over there so we got another 100 political power I love it well and armed and well regulated slightly more cost we don't want more cost anymore defense would be really good yeah, defense of core territory, though, that's even better. Wealth of nations, stability would help out, but let's go and wait for that. Oh, it's only 10% more. It's only 10%, but... If you get... That gave us actually 0.22 a day. Now that's nice. Now we're rolling in that PP. Now our construction loans. I'm going to go and do the paramilitary just in case. The arm, our armed forces, or our, our strange mix between private armies, paramilitaries, and local militias. It's hard enough to coordinate such a wide variety of troops, even when you have a direct control over them. But without, it's nearly impossible. We should remedy this by purchasing up some of the cheaper units for higher get army XP. Ooh, that's actually not bad. You get more militia, but I wonder what the template is for those militia units. That's a good question to ask, actually. Provisional warfare. Let's go and grab some battle plans for max planning. I like the max planning. Ooh, there goes a war, hand war band. So be it. Organized agriculture. Not bad. We're going to go ahead and grab some reference manuals as well. What are we missing? Ooh, we're missing scrap. That's not good. We could really use that infrastructure. That gives us probably hopefully more scrap to use. Ooh, what is that? Subject economic modifier. Oh, boy. That's not a point, no. Construction loans. Okay. Conveying our success. Own the means of protection. Very nice. Landis is going to score. I do need to place Landis eventually. Failing. Oh, that hurts. Freedom isn't free on the morning of 1 o'clock, October 4th, 2275. Calls flooded Todd's office from officials and associates in Rio, describing what it seemed to be a near apocalyptic conditions thrashing the capital. There was a general air confusion on what exactly had happened. Legionary raids? A sunset invasion? Nuclear attack? It all became clear when reports started piling in. This was a coordinated attack from multiple barons across the estate's territories. The same barons that had been causing such a huge fuss over the RRG's new regulations and have decided that they'd be better off free than paying taxes and that they wanted the howitzers to call the shots. Now... One of the most important rules of business is such. If the waters are calm, don't rock the boat. So naturally, the notion of bombing their neighbors just to get around a few regulations they could bribe their way out of anyway seemed like something of a poor reaction. It didn't much matter now that the RRG was allowed to come back across the river and dismantle the whole system from top to bottom. So Todd now, lo now longer had, no longer had a choice in the matter. The militias were raised, barricades built, and plans were drawn for the coming war. Like calls a tune, we dance. Oh boy. Four more divisions. And you guys are six combat with... Which I'm not going to say is really ideal, but hey, you know what? We probably still got defender places. Uh, that's not bad. Oh, we have you too. Good. Thank you. And Admiral. Will burn Amistead. Less defense, more damage though. Go to train until you sink. So, good luck. Yeah, keep it of that. No, 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 no. This, that's okay. Yeah, if we want to put infantry on here, we got to save some equipment. So, that's a bueno case. So, you guys are doing that stuff down there. We'll leave the motorized down there. Uh, actually, do we have everything covered already? That wouldn't be bad, maybe. Let's take a look. Is there, are there any go gaps, holes? Is there one right there? Uh, you definitely could probably use at least one more, because there's nothing right there. So we have three. That is two, looks like, ish. Oh, right there. All right? No? I mean, technically, that is going to get attacked twice. Okay, not bad. At least you have that hole covered right there, and we have an operative that can be recruited. Oh, look, Amos Pope looking pretty good. Pretty darn skilled, I'd say. More money? Don't mind if we do. Level 6? Love progress. Love it. Alright, so how much longer is it going to take to build another one of these? Not that much longer, which is good. Ooh, secret language, not bad. Let's go ahead and grab. It's a little bit ahead of time still. Let's wait for that. More seed selection, and let's take a look at you guys. You guys. Oh, it's 10 combat with. If we want to put on some fire teams, it does give us quite a bit more defense and HP. How much would that cost? Oh, we'd have enough. Cool. That's actually very good. We have enough. I'm glad to put them on there. We need more of that stuff. So, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1. Looking pretty weak sauce over there. Yeah, we definitely need at least one more militia division. Militia. Motorized. There you are. Hello. Thank you. Come again. Hopefully we can hold against the enemy. Because if we can't, that's not very good for us. Let's see. Texan soil. We might as well grab this now. I don't think there's any other point to grab anything else. I mean, yeah, we got to raise our conscription level eventually. Reference manuals are nice. Very, very bueno. 
Well, let's come over here and grab some Lost Division training time. Warrior training is always good. We have 53% stability. Nice. A paramilitary. Don't mind if we do. And we should do innovative equipment. Sometimes better really is just better. While we can fill up our stock houses with pipe guns in a matter of weeks, there's no guarantee that they won't fail us should someone with a state come knocking. That's why being able to develop and produce modern weapons is a cornerstone of our nation's defense. Absolutely. Hey, Todd's tanks. Oh, those are tanks. But they got... Oh, that's not bad. Look at that. Ooh, that's not bad. That's really not bad. I'm going to make sure you guys all go to where you need to be. Yeah, I wish I can, didn't actually edit this template then. Because we have infantry and we have the saws. But volunteer professionals? I mean, that's pretty decent, in my opinion. That's pretty darn decent. Five, six? Oh, no, man. For now, just go ahead and come all right here. That's fine. We've got even more now. So... Why don't you get, make us at least a little thicker? But do we actually have enough guns? No, we don't. So don't even do that. Instead, we'll throw in the dynamite. We, have, we will have enough for that, so it gives us even more soft attack and stuff like that. Oh, well, I guess we did. No longer, though. We're slowly running out of manpower, too, which isn't good. But we can always raise conscript level. And always 135. I'm glad we got that other guy. Uh, I love manpower. Or PP, or political power, whatever you call it. We invest stimulus. Money to the cause. And we have about 20 days left for that. Reclamation Authority, Todd Houser has decided to construct a Reclamation Authority, devoted to promoting scavenging in the wasteland. This will give our nation expertise in scouring the good old wastes. It shouldn't be bad. The old world secrets will be ours. After this. Oh, dear professionals. Oh, I kind of really just want to convert you to infantry, but we need more guns for that. Oh, we got, oh, that's okay, Mount. Hey, we've got a few planes, too. Actually, that's not bad. Well, we're almost done here, so let's go stand your ground just in case. There's nothing in the world that can protect us other than us. It's high time we realize this, because one day, some mean son of a gun is going to roll over that river, and we're going to have to stand our ground against him. And you get more max planning, which I do like as well. Armed well regulated, that's that's so good. It costs just slightly more to regulate or do stuff, but let's get some local, local workspaces first. What do we want to put on here? Wealth of Nations... I'm probably going to go with Wealth of Nations, but I want to wait to get more stability first before we do that. Sergeant, Gunrunner, Chop Shop. That's not bad. It's not great. Profiteer is not bad. That's not bad either. Captain of Industry is really nice, but I prefer this Captain of Industry here. And up next... Ooh, I'll probably get Caleb. Should we get Steve Losey? I'm feeling now. 10% more soft attack is good, and that helps out any division that does have infantry equipment. So, Helping Hands is probably what we're going to do next, just in case... I love the defense. I love more attack. I love more organization. Love it, love it, love it. Keep building, guys. Oh, man. Might have just built another factory. That's great. Oh, we do have 11. Hmm. For TWA militia. Uh, let's see. You guys. So these are these guys. A 10 combat with, with some good stuff on them. These hired guns. These are just the regular militia. It's going to hurt us for now, but let's do that one first. Ooh. Oh, oh, that looks so not good. So not good. Oh, my goodness. Let's go and do this anyways. Former department, we got a little bit of cash, right? 105 caps. We get, currently make 32 every quarter. That's not bad. Get some goods. Oh, yeah, get some more stability. That'd be good. Carthaginians were annexed pretty quickly. Not bad. Not bad. Planes. Do we, have an, do we not have an airbase? Seed selection is nice. We don't even have a gosh darn airbase. What in the world? Uh, build it down here, because we'll probably have to go to War Santa and eventually, too, anyway. So, Let's see. What do we want? Basic tools, probably. Actually, no. We want this one. Resistors. It's only 2% more research speed, but that does help out in the long run. Happy 2276, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. All right, stand your ground. So we got that, so we can dig in a little bit more effectively. Let's go ahead and get the real Rio Railroad. The transportation of people, goods, armies, and weapons ought to be the highest priority of our little corporate paradise. To that effect, plans have been made for a railroad between all major cities that border the Rio Grande. Very good. Oh, another division. Don't mind if we do. So, I'm not exactly sure when they go to war with us. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. We maybe need to be a little bit more, more parsnickety with them, especially since we are on a historical. So, bail out the arms industry. Get a, get a, get a. Actually, which way are they going to go? Huh. So, they're going to bail stuff out. Ooh. Well, regardless, we got to build ourselves up effectively first before we do too much craziness. And hopefully, Santa Ana doesn't come knocking on our door anytime soon. But, yeah, never know. Art of Heaven, cool. 
here in such a group. Cool. Let's grab you and do you guys just in case. It's going to take 4,800 days. That's all. Just a casual 4,800 days. Hmm. Anything else here? Lock and loaded. Freeman's fixtures. Not bad. Oh, yeah. I think we wanted to grab this guy. Yeah. But do we need him immediately? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. These guys are okay. Oh, wow. Plus 50 opinion. That's not bad. Material is supplier is not bad. Civilian, captain of industry. We are trying to build stuff up immediately, so. And then again, we're trying to get this one done first. At least to get some sort of planage. The real railroad, when's the next one done? In nine days. You have more than nine days. So, after warrior training, we're going to actually go ahead and grab the biplane fighter because we don't want to make outdated gliders. <sighs> gliders, outdated stuff? No. You're crazy to think we we're going to use that old stuff. Actually, oh, this is warrior training. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Radio interception, cool. Grab the next one. Now I do want to train, but how many guns do we have in the stockpile? That's not a lot. The Rio Railroad, very nice. Asset reinvestment, more civilian factories, you get more water. Ooh, I would like to get down here, but everything's bigger in Texas. You get more liability, stops attack, but production cost goes up. Human can openers, castle reduction, I like that one a lot. But let's go and do the uh, pay new roads. State infrastructure is essential for all matters of both business and governance. Though in short term, it's going to hurt our pockets, or our pockets. We should sh chill out to rebuild some of the old roadways across the TAA. Umbra's gone. We need actually more dynamite, huh? Let's go ahead and grab some field fortifications. Soft attack, yes please. And he actually gets some more entrenchment. That's not bad. It's only plus 0.3, but hey, I'll take whatever we can get. Not bad. Stand your ground, son. Stand your ground. What level of entrenchment do we have, actually? 46% defensive combat bonus. So your base is 10. You got conventional warfare plus 10. And stand your ground is plus 3. Stand your ground plus 10. And then conventional warfare plus 25%. 46% defensive bonus is actually really, really nice. Right, so we got a little surplus of infantry equipment. I think it's time we could probably swap one of these bad boys over again. But instead of swapping over, just go and throw another division on. That'd be kind of good. That really hurt us, though. Oh, my goodness. Outside volunteers. We'll probably go with outside auxiliaries eventually. Oh, radio propaganda. How, how are you, TAA Tim? It seems to me that most of you are poorly informed about the going-ons of the rebellion, to say nothing about a correct explanation of your independence over there. Nothing is more confused than to be ordered into a revolution to die or be maimed for life without the faintest idea of what's going on. Was well, the opening line of a series of broad... Serious... Uh, of a series... Or serious of broadcasts that RRG was transmitting over radios in the TAA. It was a blatant propaganda of the campaign intended to rile up the general citizenry and punishing for re annexation, it seems to be, at the very least, riling people up. Somebody turn that racket off. Let's grab you just in case. Just in case. Because I would like to get more stability, though. Nice. Pave new roads. Awesome. Ooh, not bad. Pouring over reports, why not? The first few results have come in from our efforts, and in order to put together the final part of our plan, we ought to pour over the details and statistics. The last thing we want to do is push the rest of our funding into a dead end. Paving new roads, your boss had called you into his office again this morning to discuss the last few weeks of playing politics, mostly shoring up support from the magnates and families around the country. The process consisted of calling in favors, making veiled threats, and signing lucrative deals to anyone willing to shell out investment money for the new railway, sidewalks, and roads. Todd was preoccupied with a, with a sign-in when you walked in, turning up to address you as soon as he heard you close the door. All right, son. Sterling work. Or sterling. Startling. Sterling work on those calls. We've got a long road ahead of us, but it looks like we just might have a rail line opening up soon. I need you to take a couple trips now. Shake hands. Make sure I'm not getting ripped off and deliver a few packages. Think you can do all that? His praise felt nice, and although he was asking a lot of uh, out of a new hire, you felt some kind of compulsion to keep living up to his expectation. It wasn't fear. It wasn't exactly the joy of the purpose, either. I'll get right on it, Mr. Howitzer. Ooh, we get a little bit better stuff. Ooh, yes, very nice. And let's do one more focus before we end the episode here. 15 days, local workspace is not bad. Oh, we want to do this. Intelligence agencies? Yes, please. Let's watch out for spies. You never know what corporate spies, government spies, especially those state spies, might happen for us. That wouldn't be very good. We don't like corporate spies, state spies, all that good stuff. Oh, guns for hundreds of lot. Bypass, that sucks. Siege of Hidden Valley. Oh, executives. Well, Mojave chapter is gone. Local workspaces. We'll probably get some basic tools next. That'd be pretty good. We like a little bit more output for dockyards. You know, that's okay. Cap and growth, though. That's pretty nice. Resistors. Don't mind if we do. And actually, we're going to go ahead and grab this one. Smoke signals. Very good. Got quite a while for the rest of the stuff. Do we have the airport? Yes, we do. Oh, it's all the way down here. Wow, that's really low. Really down south. But hey, we got a good amount of gliders. 
initial hiccups. The sudden departure from the status quo left us with quite a number of administrative hiccups. As it turns out, having a violent and sudden departure from the things w the way things were tends to throw a heaping helping of chaos into everyday operations, the sheer rough of revolution finally having died down. People are now realizing that just across the river sits the old stately beast. It's small, hung open, just waiting to tear us to shreds. It has people worried, even a little demoralized. We should use this. Or use our time. Very, very wisely. Oh, why do you hurt my stability? Why do you hurt that? Why do you pay me so much with that? Hey, at least we're looking good here, though. Uh, support equipment's not looking too bad. We might want to get some field hospitals as well. That'd probably be pretty good to do. And pouring over reports. The sun was quickly vanishing over the horizon, leaving the room lit in the warm yellow of pre-war light bulbs. It was just you and Todd at the office now, quietly reading over reports about your efforts thus far. It was almost entirely mundane, and a little good, a little bad, but all pretty boring. And eventually, your superior stood up from his desk, stretching out like a lion and emitting a bestial lawn. Yawn. Listen, Spud, why don't we call Ten here and go offer some grub? I know this joint down the way from here that does great Brahmin burgers. Getting taken out to a nice dinner with Todd was a prospect that almost made you feel lightheaded. Though you weren't certain on why you felt that way, you were certain that he, you take him up on it. Man, of course, let me get my jacket. If Todd Howitzer invites you for, like, Brahmin burgers, you go with, you know, Todd Howitzer. But let's end this episode on See That Mountain. Let's end it on the science of industry. There's only so much we can do with the ideas of the past and the tools of today. With a little nudge towards R&D, we can get a head start on producing our own technology. So, let me know in the comments below, guys, which way we should go in terms of conventional warfare. Should we go mechanized warfare and emphasize even more motorized, or should we do trooper warfare, which does help us a little bit, but this walking infantry doesn't help us with motorized. And let me know about the name for the intelligence agency, because this SB, it's okay. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, as we might end up with Todd Howitzer in a little war against the Republic of the Rio Grande. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.